Talk to us a little bit about what went into the racing surface that y'all changed from 81 to the new repave. So we, we tried to uh, look at, you know, naturally with Atlanta in the last few repaves we've done, we really tried to tackle how do we get a old surface on a new repave. Naturally, all that you've got going on today and the way that you actually put in race tracks, the way you pave the, the pavement process itself, it's hard to achieve that right out of the box. So we got a little bit more aggressive on the mix design. Um, this track's more aggressive than Atlanta. We already saw in Atlanta that we were getting 20% decrease in grip levels after three years. So a little bit more aggressive on this track and just what we've seen in the test so far, we, we think we've gotten to achieve that. So hopefully these tires will show that. Um, the other side of that, you know, naturally the old track was paved with older equipment so the widths of the lanes that they paved they were only able to get 10 foot lanes um, with newer equipment naturally we can span out a lot wider so we've got three grooves in lieu of the five that were here with that you know it's changed the racing line we've seen that in practice um, you know naturally after we saw the all-star last year with Kyle Larson kind of finding his own groove we think we've moved him up the track so hopefully it'll it'll create some more side-by-side -side racing and be pretty entertaining to watch how long do you think it'll take this racing surface to cure totally in and be so Somewhere that you feel where the old racing surface was. Yeah, I mean, you know, naturally the old track was 30 years old, so it's, it's going to be tough to get back to that point. But I mean, right out of the, the bat, what we saw from what Goodyear tested last year after we repaved in November to what they saw when they came back, we'd already lost 8% grip, which is huge in just a, a short time frame or a few months instead of years. I, I really think in two years, max, maybe three at the tops, you'll see this track really come back and start wearing tires like it used to. How much have you changed here from year one to year two? I know that you've moved the spotter stand down then to turn four, so it gives them a kind of a permanent place, but what are some of the other changes that you guys have made here, engineering and cosmetic-wise? I mean, ultimately, we all know about the moonshine cave or the, the spot that happened underneath the grandstand. Uh, we had to fix that. Um, outside of that, there wasn't a lot of changes. Um, naturally, we, we felt there was a better use of our property and a better use for the fans to have RVs in turn three in lieu of the grandstand that was there. Uh, so you'll see a little bit of difference there, back stretch the same way. From an engineering standpoint, the only thing we really did was add the roof to the turn four building to get the spotters up on the roof to give them a better sight line. It's the highest point on the property, so naturally it just made sense. Um, and then really the track. You know, the track was the biggest last piece of the puzzle, so to speak, to really bring back everything. We didn't want to take the old track up, but it was, it was time and it was falling apart, so we had to.